Before we begin, I'd like to clear up any confusion. No, Bob Ross did not shrink in size and pick up sign language. There wasn't a mix-up, don't worry. I'd like to thank everyone for being here tonight to support the power of a wish and for taking the extra effort to meet me halfway to hear my story. Before when I was told I could have a wish, I knew that I didn't want a thing. I wanted an experience. Experiences can give you so much. Emotions, memories, lessons that can stick with you for a lifetime. My wish experience propelled me to self-confidence and belief in who I am and gave a shot of adrenaline to my passion to profoundly impact the world around me. And just as you saw in the video, my wish was to sign alongside two musicians who I admire and who I feel have helped me find a voice of my own. During my wish, I felt that I was able to join them simply as a fellow artist. I felt that they really appreciated my creative interpretation of their music. But that was just the beginning of how my story unfolds. Many of you would probably disagree with this statement. To be able to see clearly and accept your true self, use social media liberally. Let me say that again. <laughs> to be able to clearly see and accept your true self, use social me media liberally. But let's just agree, I'm different. This is how I know it's true. My wish was granted with Josh and Tyler before a concert. Afterwards, after we attended the concert, just out in the crowd with the rest of the 21 Pilot fans, what surprised me is how many people in the crowd knew me from my YouTube channel, Andy Signs where I not only perform songs, but teach sign language and spread awareness of deaf culture and cranial facial differences. But some people also recognized me from a Snapchat story I posted by the drummer Josh. And people had seen the story and were excited to meet me and speak to me. I saw in person for the first time how much of an impact simply being myself had on others. So I'm going to suggest to, that in my case, the use of social media allowed people to see me. But more importantly, through that experience, I could see me more clearly. I could see my art. I could see my passion for communication. I could see that people could see me beyond my differences and embrace me as an artist and an advocate. So much came together for me that day. Although I had been on a path of figuring myself out, I mean, what teenager isn't? <laughs> I was still doing it from the safety of my bedroom. When I realized that people had found genuine joy and hope from me as a person, as someone they took time to watch and get to know. It changed everything. Since that catalytic moment of my wish, I've learned how to embrace parts of who I am, like being deaf, having a cranial facial difference, being disabled, and so much more. I've always felt a drive to do more, to help others, and it wasn't until I opened myself up with YouTube and came face to face with people whose lives I've made a difference in, that I was empowered to use all of who I am. My self-acceptance motivated me to get out there and do all I can to erase the stigma against those who are born differently like me and so many others. I'm thankful to make a wish I've met so many compassionate and amazing people 
who are clearly motivated to help make a difference in the lives of kids and their families. I want other kids who are facing a tough time, like me, to be able to look back on that specific time. And I'm going to say it again, that catalytic moment where they can say, that was the day my life changed. That was the day I felt empowered. That was the day I regained the hope I thought that I'd lost. Thank you all for listening, or should I say, watching, and for being a part of the community that make wishes happen.